and welcome back. It's Cynthia from It's Pouring Paint. Today I wanted to go over sealing uh, up some paintings in a vase with polycrylic. Um, I've done a few of these um, sealings before and uh, I really do like the effect. So how I do it is I, uh, I go and have a stainless steel measuring cup and I, or it's a cup, spoon, and I'm going to put a tablespoon in here for now. You know what, I'm going to put two tablespoons in here because I'm actually doing several more after I stop recording. Sometimes the uh, sealing of your um, paintings takes longer than uh, actually belting them out because painting them is wonderful, but um, <laughs> sealing them is a bit of a pain. Anyways, so here I'm going to go. So I have a, a flat brush, uh, flat bristle brush here. And I'm just going to dip it in, come up to the top, and I'm going to do the first, for me, this is my technique. Everybody else can do it however they want, but I find that we have to do these sides um, quickly before um, the rest of it. So I usually just put like a layer and do the sides first. Um, I have watched a few people seal them. I'm not sure how they do it. I might have got this idea from them. I don't know. Um, I certainly do love learning and watching so many videos a day on uh, other people's and getting so many ideas. I think it's just, it's very relaxing um, to do this. And I'm actually enjoying the videotaping of it all and, um, and letting other people see what happens. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but already when I went over this purple part in the middle it brightened right up so one of the things I'm going to let you know is is you can't go over it too many times this dries fairly quickly and you don't want to pour it on um, because then you can have um, puddles and that will cause that will cause um, uh, just puddles in your uh, finished painting so you put a thin coat on just like it's coming towards here. You put a thin coat on like this and then I usually just lightly, as, I'm, as the light shines, I can kind of see if there's anything left on and I just quickly, and you can tell when you're going over it when it gets a little tackier. I'm gonna tell you to stop there. When you feel it a little tacky, don't bother. Just leave it. You're gonna do a second round of this anyways. So, um, you don't want to pull your paint off your canvas. Um, I did this not with a canvas, but with a, uh, a wine glass um, back in December, so several, uh, several videos ago, and um, it pulled the paint right off, and I, I was so upset. Um, I haven't done anything about them. I, th I thought I was going to redo them, but that was wine glasses, and I did, I did like 50 of them. And now I've decided I'm really liking the canvas. So I'm just going to do more canvases later. Uh, I'm going to be filming my daughter doing some, um, she has these white uh, porcelain um, hearts that she would like to do the inside and the outside with. Now it's always best to do as long strokes as you can, in my opinion. And I think it's well documented out there anyways to try and eliminate any brush strokes um, try it also you're going to be going through these um, these layers at least another two times you should at least try and do two to three coats just to make sure that see I felt it a little tacky so I got to leave that area alone um, yeah and then uh, once you're done it's going to look absolutely beautiful I find that the light that I have up here helps me a great deal with seeing where the paint is laying on the uh, canvas and being able to go over and correct it a bit or thin it out or put more on. So this light is really helping because I can see the dull parts. <laughs> I might get this right this time. So I'm going to just do a few strokes till I feel it tack up on me. And as simple as that, I think I'm going to stop there, um, you have done your first sealing of paint. 
And yeah, when you move it, try not to touch it too much. Um, just learn from my lessons, I suppose, because I just touched it and felt I brought some of it out. Let's get right on to the vase. So with the vase, I do something a little different. I leave this top part alone now, and I work from the uh, bottom. Let me just make sure you can see this. Excellent. I work from the uh, bottom up. Now with this, you do not want to here. You do not want to put um, too much paint on. I am telling you, pick a line that you also can tell um, when you're going to come back around to it. So basically, I get a thin layer, and I just go over it. Sometimes I switch out the the brush side I use just to get all of the paints. And the reason that you don't want to do a thick layer, and I've learned this as well, um, is because it will pool up at the bottom or it will pool up in the middle and you have these little pools of varnish. It's not fun. I mean, it just it's not professional looking in my opinion. And I got a lot of them. I've been learning this whole way through realize I talk a lot here too. I just wanted to make sure that you you kind of maybe got to know me a little. <laughs> I guess talking will do that. So anyways, yeah, I'm just doing a nice little layer. And sometimes you'll see that bubbles might form. Um, you can usually just blow on them. And uh, they will pop out I find that so yep yeah, nice little even strokes if I am going to put a little um, varnish like a little dab of varnish on I'm going to do it at the top so it has a chance to work its way down this is a vase I did um, a while ago I did it with a painting it was one of my videos um, like several videos ago but uh, this was a a vase that I did on top of a painting and then I did the painting I um, tilted it and so forth I re it's actually hanging upstairs in my living room but I thought it would be nice to get this finished up it didn't seem to it just seemed to linger around a bit okay now I will do the top and I don't be very careful, or I try to be very careful, not to get any drips that come down. Once again, this dries very quickly and it won't have any opportunity to get to the bottom. So there it is. I have sealed them. Let me bring you down for a close-up. You can just see the shine. I love it. Sealing is very satisfying, just a pain. Here's the canvases, nicely sealed up. I so yeah, okay. Well, if you have any questions or I missed anything or you have any comments, please uh, please put them down there and if you aren't subscribed like and subscribe to my video um, I try to do this as often as possible uh, my daughter and I just love it anyways thank you very much for watching we'll catch you next time bye